Welcome back. Carter. It's Carter. That, <laughs> both dating yourselves age-wise. Today on The Griddle Guys, we are going to cook the world famous, world famous, world famous griddle pastrami sandwich bombs. Most definitely not famous. And I'll tell you, I grew up with my dad cooking us this for us maybe once a month, maybe even more. And it's used to do it in a pan. You'll see the how we do it, but I thought everyone did it because it was so awesome. How could you not do it? And then I said, Nate, have you ever had that French Canadian world famous pastrami sub? And I gave him this blank stare. Like, and then I asked Chris, have you? Never heard of it. Never heard right. <laughs> So then I asked him, hey, where did you order that? So anyways, today... <laughs> the famous French Canadian diner. I'm gonna show these guys how famous it really is, and I'm gonna show you too, and hopefully you'll love it. Stay tuned. It's sandwich week at the Griddle Guys. This Quick, week, apparently. <laughs> easy, five ingredients. We'll be done in five. Five for Jeff. We're excited. Five for five. That's good. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. And my next video is PB and J. <laughs> If you guys watch our other videos, you know that whoever owns a video gets to boss the other guys around, so. Yeah, just kill him. She's really putting us to work, Nate. With all of the work that needs rolling. to be done. One onion. This is gonna be cut before Jeff even lifts the camera. Some pepperoni. About quarter inch uh, chunks there, slices there, and done. That's it. That's it for prep, guys. That's it. That's it. Quick teaser, that is some horse radish sauce. If you want to stay around, we'll have uh, how to make that at the end of this video, uh, if you're interested in it. Me and Nate are both gonna do mustard, Chris is gonna do the horse radish. That's how it looks right now. But anyways, simple, simple, simple. We got pastrami, we got onions, pepperoni, cheese of choice, and eggs. That's the secret ingredient right there. Biggest bulky rolls you can find, and that's it, that's it. Always give me a high time about how many ingredients. Guys, how's this for simple? I've so never, I, I'm horrified right now. But it is a world famous sandwich, so you gotta this follow the recipe. This is a world recipe. famous sandwich. It has to be very specific. And uh, we'll show you the details. With all the prep that these guys did, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a break. You know, they, they worked They worked really hard. I'm tired. I got my uh, amazing camp chef with the CC12000 in effect, and I get all the burners on low. What I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna put the pepperoni and the onions down. Even though it's eight out. Even though. That's right, eight. It's 28 <laughs> degrees out. It's nice and warm. So we're just gonna put these on first. Let them sweat a little bit, start to look, look nice. Step one, done. One task for Nate, cut one onion. That was from the trash. It's right there by your left. Look, right down there. <laughs> See? <laughs> one pass. I did one pass. Where's the other side, Jeff? Where's the other sure. side, man? <laughs> right? Step two. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? <laughs> uh, a little oil. Onions are looking amazing over there. So you just let it sweat and then you shut that burner off. You don't want to look up too much, right? Yeah, I shut that burner off over there. Move them over. <laughs> so here's my question. That's all for three sandwiches? Absolutely. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna shrink. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't. So we're gonna move this around. Eggs! Sorry man, my assistant. You can't get a good assistant nowadays. <laughs> The bucket's right there. How did you just miss the bucket? You had one job. <laughs> so for three pounds of eggs, we're gonna go with four. You mean three, three pounds, pounds of, of pastrami? Beef. Three oh, pounds of pastrami. Uh, and Jeff is showing off with his one-handed uh, breaking them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in. So I don't know if you heard, but we shut this burner off over there. Chris was saying. We're gonna let that start to set up a little bit. The buns are starting to freeze. <laughs> they really are gonna. I feel the, the cheese is gonna be pretty cold. <laughs> it's stuck together. It's really stuck together. Yeah. These things are huge. Yeah, you might have to turn that burner back on. Yeah. Here we go. The challenges we face. Yeah. <laughs> True story. 
Hey, on the upside, Chris, you can use a garage as a refrigerator the whole winter, right? Keep all my drinks out there. When I'm trying to cool something down, I just walk out and throw it on the ATV. Right, like, yeah. exactly. It's Back like, of ice, it's, no problem. It's like 39 <laughs> degrees in the garage. Cools it right down. Onions. Uh, mixing it right in. Mixing it right in. And so it will be, give us more room. It's too. a pastrami omelet with onions and pepperoni. Is that what I'm saying? Hey, well, Jeff. because you made me put so many eggs in. <laughs> Jeff, can I have mine without onion? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem. You're going to have to pick them up. <laughs> yeah. You want another spatula or are you good? That should be good just to let it set up a little bit. You want to tell these guys what you're at for a burner heat action? We got, uh, we're actually going to crank this up to medium. We had it on low. So we're going to let this the back on the sit for like, I don't know, five minutes to set up. And then uh, we'll come back. It's cold. It is cold out. Got the heat yeah. up uh, above medium. Buns are coming along. Mm. Well, I like That's it. It's a lot Working of meat. hard. Buns are pro. <laughs> Not like Anthony with that cushy you Home you Depot always job. always say that, don't you? It's a lot of meat. <laughs> Pretty sure he's paid for doing nothing. I only nothing. had a penny. Every time <laughs> I'd have one penny right now. Yeah, right. That would be it. Why do I have your glasses on too? Yeah, look at you on top of you. You had these in the shot the whole time. Why do you have them on? Because I didn't have hands when I was coming down here and I didn't know oh. if you guys needed them. Bastards. Um, I'm not the old one. Yeah. Jeff, you're Anthony gonna... wants to know the ETA on the sandwich that said not soon. You're going to wake up one morning, <laughs> you're going to need those glasses, I promise you. I'm, I'm already there. And that morning's not far away. I know. If you think you're already there, you're not there. Yeah. <laughs> You think you're already there, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so as this is cooking, you just want to hold it down. This is Nate's technique. And then you pull it to separate it because you want smaller pieces because this tends to be a chewier meat anyways. Or it's a like chewier a brittle protein. version of dicing. Chewy, yeah. but no fat in there, right? Yeah, this, that way everything is bite size. <laughs> and then there's so much fat in here that you really can't overcook it, but we do want to make sure that the egg's pretty well set up before we build the sandwiches. It really is a steak and cheese, and you do the same prep work. <laughs> steak and egg, Chris. Steak and egg. <laughs> steak and egg. Look at how gorgeous that it's is. It's coming out good. On the world. Is it, is it thought the out? Biggest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those, those are good. Are, those look good. Yeah. We're almost ready to stop building. Yeah. We'll let this set up for a minute. Then we'll start adding, adding cheese. Then we'll start sectioning and portioning Action. a bit of it and add some cheese. Perfect. Nate did something, Jeff. <laughs> As you can see, this... Uh, Crunch time. Crunch time. This shrunk down into barely anything, so I don't know if we're gonna have enough for our three sandwiches. That. And I don't know if it's really crunch time. It's technically fine if you just let them sit there. So I think we're at to like, we're, we're up to like step three? I step think we're- three, cheesy part. We're moving along pretty good. So we are going to do- Something never said at this house. And actually Nate wanted Swiss, right? So yeah, Swiss works for me. Swiss on this side. Chris, what'd you say you wanted? Uh, I will say anything but Colby, Swiss, I think. Prevalone, anything but Swiss. Yes, yeah, right. I don't like the Swiss. Anything but Swiss. So we got, and you want to mix that with Colby? Yeah, throw some color in there, absolutely. Actually, why don't we hey, do- you playing like that? What are you doing? Oh, you're filming up there? <laughs> <laughs> gotta throw some American, American on there too. <laughs> It's an American. It's not distracting, is it, Jeff? And Nate, you <laughs> want. This is actually kind of fun. I can just whack. What, what's that? Colby on the uh, on your Swiss. Yes. Sounds good. Yeah, that's some color. I can just walk around whacking people with this camera. That's melted pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, let's that's, take a, that's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking good, Jeff. It's melting too. Good, good, good. Looks beautiful. Yeah, let's get the buns ready. Now you did you did make one vegetarian one for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> low, no carb vegetarian. <laughs> low fat. It's all free. We're gonna take the buns off and uh, get them dressed. Getting ready for this. All right. Good to go. Oh, those are perfect. All right. So while that cheese is melting, Chris wanted the horseradish sauce. Which bun is mine? Uh, either of the other two. That. Those are your tops and bottoms. Actually, it's going to be mustard on both, so you can go all in. Well, I don't know. Heavy on the mustard. Does Anthony like as much mustard as I do? Sure. Yeah, it looks good. That's a lot of mustard. All right, Jeff, now what do you need? You need us to bring the tray over to you? No, now we're just going to give this a couple seconds. Let all, I added a little bit of cheese. Don't tell Nate. Oh, there he is. All right. Just going to close that with my fancy cover. Let's Wait. Put some water in there? I don't even think we need to. <laughs> yeah. Because it'll freeze. It'll turn into snow underneath there once. Anyways, we'll uh, build in a minute. Build in a minute. What are we at? Step four? Really not Step, a lot. Let's of, go. Let's go. Let's eat these things. It's really not a lot of steps. Is this going here? I'm going to cut it like a pie? Yeah. So this is one sandwich right here. Front and back is one sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, he did all this. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a, that's a lot of. Um, he's, he's building a double decker on each sandwich. See, <laughs> it's 
So that's the horseradish right there. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Wow. Jeff doesn't mess around with the sandwiches. That thing's huge. I was gonna say that's a lot of meat, but I didn't want to hear Chris, so I'm gonna say that's a lot of corned beef. <laughs> that's a lot of corned pastrami. beef. Pastrami, oh, sorry, pastrami, Nate. You must have done a corned beef video in your, in your past. I did, and actually. Just, and it had about this much meat on it. <laughs> that's ridiculous, Jeff. Definitely ridiculous. Well, we're still gonna have some left over, so it's not like I'm putting it all on. <laughs> no, really? Wow. Well done. For, Look at those. Chris, are your arms breaking? Thanks Look for putting that. that over the griddle so I don't uh, It's like three bucks worth of coal. <laughs> it's all good. Check that out. Is there a bun under there? Oh, wait, wow. I see a bun down there. There's a bun. We're going to call that done right there, guys. <laughs> done. One, nice. two, three. Done. 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 <laughs> see you upstairs. Let's go eat. So we have the official taste tester who doesn't want wow. to be on camera. The sandwich is almost gone. Is that, is that just half or is that a. Where did the meat fill out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since this is Jeff's famous French Canadian sandwich, Chris is gonna do the taste test and he's gonna tell us how it tastes in French. <laughs> All right, Chris? If you think it's a famous sandwich. All right, while he chews, if you guys are still hanging out with us, we're literally begging you hit the subscribe button. It really helps. We're right? getting there. Yeah, absolutely. We're getting there. Share, like, mm, that's good. comment. And if you wanna see how to make the uh, horseradish sauce, stick around Which after is the. Key. It's really good in there. After oh the God. credit of the director and the producer and all the major actors. Well right Thank behind you. the credits Thank will be you. that recipe. Nate, hey, what'd you think of the, uh, the egg and mustard? Oh, it's delicious. Good. It's delicious. It reminded yeah. me of that time that I was eating that French Canadian restaurant. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think the sandwich went right to my heart in the first bite, but it's good. <laughs> it's quick. And a lot of meat. It's easy. Thank you guys for watching. Right out. Take care. See you in the next video. Going in for more. Guys, thank you for hanging around. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of how I made that horseradish sauce. Super simple. Uh, you end up taking about roughly three quarters of a cup, maybe half a cup to three quarters of a cup of sour cream. You do about a teaspoon of horseradish sauce. The hotter the better. I'm sorry, horseradish, not horseradish sauce. And then some chive. Probably about a tablespoon. probably a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And that's it. Super simple. I wanted to get this done before the guys got here, even though you're seeing this at the end of the video, uh, just so I can get it in the fridge because it kind of takes on more of the horseradish flavor the longer it sits. So three to four hours the night before, whatever works. But anyways, thanks again, guys. Thanks for hanging around. Watch this. We're close to 50,000 subscribers because of you guys. Like, share, subscribe tell your friends. We appreciate it. Anyways, have a good day, guys. Cheers.